Dominic Morden, you're a long time on Bridge Street. Well, Were you born here? Yeah. In this premises. Mm -hmm. And uh, your parents had the shop before you. Do you know when the shop started up? 1909. 1909. So it's over a hundred years old. Yeah. And did your father own it before that, or did he buy it? My father bought it. He bought it. And who had it before that? Oh, the shop was. Shop was here all the time. Shop, it was the shoe, or the shoe shop? No, it was a tailor shop. Tailor shop prior to this. And who was the tailor at the time? Can you remember? Grandfather. Your grandfather? So they changed business uh -huh. in 1909. And uh, how long did your father run it for then? Oh, they died. <laughs> no, when did he die? 65. 65. And you took over then? No, I didn't. Mother was here all the time. Your mother was here. And when did she die? In the 70s, okay, yeah. And you have uh, seen a lot of changes of style since, since you started working. What age did you start working in, in here at? About 18. You're about 18. So you've seen, you have seen, seen the style changes? Seen come and go. Come and go. Is there much has stayed the same? No. No. Wellingtons? No. No? They're good, gone up style as well, are they? That's yes, I do. What kind of customer do you get here? You get various cars, you get various uh, people, you get uh, good people, uh, visitors, tourists, uh, general public, general Northern Ireland, West Ports. Have you an old base of loyal customers over the years? We have some that come to us, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you get uh, many young people coming in here? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Hmm. Do you still sell weekend pickers? Oh yes. Do you have them in stock? Oh yeah. And are they available now, or are they old stock? Oh, they are now. You can still buy them new, you oh, can? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought, I thought winkle pickers were going out. They oh, were... Oh, it was high heels, <laughs> the toes. <laughs> the, the toes and high heels, yeah. So you live all your life on Bridge Street, eh? Yeah? Yep. Has it changed a lot? Has. Yeah. What were the biggest changes you've seen? Shed is gone. And uh, how about traffic? Has the traffic changed? It has. It's diabolical. Diabolical. We could play football on the street when we were kids. Were there many cars in the street when you were a kid? Half a dozen. Half a dozen? And what kind of transport were you using then? Were they horses? Traps? No, they'd, um, they'd hire a car. They'd hire a car. And how were the farmers bringing the stuff into town? Or were they? As, uh, horse and cart. Horse and cart. And were they parked them on the street or had they an area where they left them? Or? It depends on where the man was doing business. Hmm. And have the owners of the shops changed much on the street since? Oh, they have. Yeah. Oh, are, yeah. Are, you, are you one of the last ones that would have been around in the 30s and 40s? Well, I'd have to consider. You'd have to think about that one, yeah. Yeah, McCormick's, they're the longest. McCormick's are the longest. How about you, was on the top of the top of the street? No, that's 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 um, that's that's on the thirties. They were in the thirties. The days on the doors. Were the streets always tarred out here, and you were, as long as you were around, yeah. Yeah. Always tarred, yeah. never dirt. No. No. What kind of lighting had you in the street in the thirties and forties? Was electricity always? Oh, with no gas or. That was before your time. Oh, before your time, yeah. Where did you go to school? Bridget Brothers. And where, <laughs> where were they lo located at that time? Castle Barsley. Castle Barsley. Did you do the full time there, yeah? Oh, I was full time there. Yeah. You done your third year? Five years, five years, six years, five years? If you had a business to come to. Who was teaching you there that time? We had Brother McEwan. Yes, um, Sullivan. Start with Sullivan. Mm hmm. Yeah, McGill. Yes, um, Bowers. I oh, had yeah, different ones. Different ones. 
Hard to remember them all. <laughs> was this uh, nice in school that time? Did you enjoy school that time? I just know. You didn't enjoy it, no. What was wrong? The device bloody big devil. And you get across that. And did you get much of it? We all got our zeros. <laughs> <laughs> and was it a good school, do you think? Well, it was okay. Yeah. You got an education out of it, yeah? You got something out of it. You got something out of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, the most sport that time? Was. What kind of stuff was popular around here at the time? Football. Football. Gaelic or soccer? Soccer. Soccer. Any rugby that time? No. No rugby that time. Was rugby, yes, but it was for the hobnobs. The hobnobs. And who were that? Who was playing rugby that time? Can you remember? Yeah, Paddy Hoban, um, Dave McEwan. They were the two. They were the two members. There was the Gaels. There was. Um, uh, and would you go to a match? Would you go to a rugby match that time? Oh, not much. Yeah. The odd one. Yeah? The odd one. one, yeah. Too many hobnobs, eh? Uh? Well, the collection was down to the domain. Down to the domain, yeah. That's what the matches were, down to the domain, yeah. Okay. Who were the characters around town that time? Well, he'd always go up and ride, eh? What did he do? He lived in the family. He lived up on the business side. And he was a bit of a character. What is and, uh, he wasn't too well, he was out talking to himself. Mm. And he didn't drive him off his messages. He had uh, hobbits across the street. And, uh, he was war damaged too. And, uh, Any other characters? Yeah, Block. Block. <laughs> what was Block's second name? Mcnally. Mcnally. He was a good sportsman, was he? Oh, was a good sportsman. Well. What did he do? He worked for the council. He worked for the council. What sport was he into? Was it soccer? Soccer. Or was it everything? All well, around. Handball, thing. Handball was the big thing. Handball was the big thing. And where was the alley that time? Handball alley. I just don't know. It's gone now, yeah? <laughs> the no, it's come to Marcus Alley now. It's come to Marcus. Well, oh, that's where the, the boxing club is now, is it? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else that time? Oh. Uh, Who were the priests around there that time? Father Burke. Father Burke. Nice man? Ken and Tom Ken and Tom came around that time. Well, Ken and Tom isn't that long gone, is he? No. No. Why not? So you, you, you like Westport, you do, yeah? You're a real covey anyway, you were born on the street. Right. What, what do you think of Westport? Oh, fine town. Fine town. What's the strong bits of it? Mm-hmm. What's the, the good bits that you like? What's the bits you like best about it? Oh, it's all good, it's all good. Couldn't say the better of it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Westport people won't, but there must be something wrong with it, some place. That's a fine town, yeah. it's well laid out and all that, isn't it? People are often nice. Oh, they are. Yeah. And they're used to dealing with people coming to town, they're used to dealing with tourists and visitors and all that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. You had an interest in photography? Yeah. That's your main interest, yeah? It's interesting in the photography. Think about it, yeah. You have a couple of old ones, I believe. 